you've got Game Face, and Game Face has got Sci-Fi Block, always the first block of the month, um, generally comes in around the, well, let's say the 10th, um, being as today's the 10th and you're seeing this on the 11th. Um, so, let's open this thing up and see what we got. Okay, everybody with me. Pop figurines, pop figurines, pop, uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I'm finding these are the only guys that are putting pop figurines in their boxes. I haven't had a pop figurine from Loot Crate in the longest time. And that really concerns me. Um, because that's one of the reasons I got Loot Crate. Um, but I think I might be switching to Loot Crate Gaming. Or I might be taking a look and to see who, who, if there are other ones that have pop figurines. Which is important to me in a, in a, in a, in a box like this. Okay, so. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Drum roll, please. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um, guess what's in here? There is something. There's definitely something I want. Um, but, what else is there? Hmm. There's a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, let's move the shirt out of the way. We have got... Um, this is kind of cool. And I'll, I'll, uh, Yeah, these are actually really cool. They're going to get dust all over them, but they're really kind of cool. Um, okay, so... Um, sorry, I'm... I'm, I'm I guess I'm, you know, it's suspense. We'll call it suspense. What these are is, you know, little green army men. These are aliens versus colonial marines. And, and you can see there's like a marine, a marine guy, and then and then an alien guy. Alien. So that's like basically little green army men, except army men and aliens, which is awesome. Um, I guess it's this is Aliens' 30th anniversary, so even even these guys have some alien stuff. Okay, what do we got here? We got something else too. We got something else. They said there was going to be some Battlestar Galactica. I actually have the card saying what's going to be in this thing. I actually have the card saying what's going to be in this thing, ready to go. But I seem to have misplaced it. Oh well, not what's going to be into it, but hints. But I remember it had Battlestar Galactica on it. And we've got a comic ba book exclusive. Battlestar Galactica one shot. Um, and it's from Comic Block. But it is Battlestar Galactica. Um, so that's kind of cool. I have quite the pile of, of comics I've got from, from these crates and these boxes. So that should be pretty cool. I'm going to check that out later. Um, we've got, what else we got? What's this? What's this? Do not open until 1985. Well, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. That that was a while ago. I should go. I should go verify that, that it was a while ago. Go get a calendar and check. What this is? Oh, Biff's Pleasure Paradise. Okay, so this is from Back to the Future, Part Two, and and what it is? It's basically coasters. Um, so you've got Biff's Ple Pleasure Paradise. Um, you've got a flux capacitor, and this says shield eyes from light. You've got visit Hill Valley. Your future is here. You've also got warning. Half pepperoni, half green pepper, 15. I have no idea. There's some pizza thing, and I know I know not what that is, but I do know two of them. And I'm pretty sure Hill Valley is the yeah, I'm pretty sure three of them are definitely Back to the Future. The whole thing has don't open until 1985. That's Back to the Future-ish. I just don't understand the pizza. But hey, hey, I'm not. I, I'm not, never never said I understand everything. I never said that. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? This is also Back to the Future. It's a poster. It's a, you made a time machine out of a DeLorean poster. That's what it says down there. See? You made a time machine out of a DeLorean. Um, yes, I think if I were to be building a time machine, a DeLorean would be the first thing I'd be looking for. Um, we've also got ourselves a t-shirt. And it's a Jurassic Park, Jurassic Pops t-shirt. It's pretty cool. It's, it's a Jurassic t-shirt. What what else can I say? Um, probably not one I'm going to wear a lot. 
you know, I'm, I'm finding, I'm liking the t-shirts that don't have a lot of writing on them. Um, but they have images. Though I'm wearing a Just Cause t-shirt right now, and it has Just Cause written on it. But I guess if it didn't, you wouldn't know it was Just Cause. What else we got here? What else we got here? Oh, there's some, you know, credits for shirt punch. There's, there's just the normal stuff that comes in every box. Um, and, 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 we've got ourselves a pop figurine. And look who it is. It's the guy from Independence Day. David Livingston. I'm guessing that's, uh, is that, um, I can't remember the guy, the fly guy. Is that his character? Is that his character? There's only three in this series, though. There's Jake Morrison, David Livingston, and Alien Warrior. But we have David Livingston. And that's awesome. I, you know, I like a, a little bit of diversity in my pop figurines. And as you can tell, I have a few. Um, I, I'm going to just add this to the bunch. Um, I'll put it in with the movie ones. And that is our, our, our June sci-fi block. I almost called it arcade block. Um, imagine that. Which should be coming the end of the month. So, quick review. We've got the Jurassic Pops t-shirt. We've got ourselves a pop figurine from Independence Day. We've got ourselves a poster from Back to the Future. We've got a comic book from Battlestar Galactica. And we've got ourselves Back to the Future coasters. And finally, some aliens versus marines. Um, you know, little green men. All in all, awesome. I like the shirt. I love the pop figurine. Until next time, I'm Gameface. This was Sci-Fi Block. If you liked it, click the button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm <laughs> sorry.